Hey, what's up, guys and girls? Yeah, you're seeing us sitting there, huh? Yeah. You know the story. Well, I'm not going to make this long and drawn out. I'm not going to beat on this either. This thing is really cool. It takes awesome pictures. <laughs> it does. And, uh, I'm tired. I've been up again all night. Imagine, the old school guys will know, the bicycle locks, the roller kind, had like 0 through 10, and like 6. I went through every combination on this thing. And it does work really, really well. It does. If you're a hobbyist, buy one of these. You're going to love it for years and years to come. It'll get you in the ballpark. But people don't pay me to get in the ballpark. They want home runs. That's a home run. That's a home run. I can't believe I even did what I did. As a matter of fact, I have a line on another one of these. It won't look as pretty as this one. Then this one will go back eventually when it's due for calibration and it'll get recycled. I already have a line on a 400 version of this. And then these will be serviced. I have a line on someone that professionally services these only. And you guys that are asking me to do your VHF and UHF radios, there's a reason I can't. It's only 100 megahertz. The only other thing that I would have to change would be my load, which would be another major investment. But for this, I'm hoping they'll take it back. It's in perfect shape. I got all the. It came. It comes with two great probes, all the necessary hardware and extra features with the hardware for the probes. It's really a nice scope, but it's just not going to cut it. I guess I'm going to fight with this and try to get pictures because nothing touches this old school. I got to this radio. I've been doing a lot of AMers. And I had to go through a lot of different stuff and realign everything. Since I checked, you know, I tried to do sideband. And this is the king. Tektronix, the 2246 for power. Okay? I mean, a watt's a watt, baby. Yes, it is. And this is extremely accurate for that. I'll do another video on it eventually. My first YouTube video is that. Not my first video, but it's what it is. So these two both do that, and the B model 2465 is, is the next step. I've been wanting one for decades. So the, price, the price doesn't go down on them, the price goes up. Just like these and that. So again, I guess I'll put the camera here. I got a little glitch. There's nothing wrong with the calibration of it. Just the position I have to change when I change volts per division. And right now it's not doing it. It could be a warm pot or the gears on this. It got touchy. So I don't have time for you know, parting things out. And I always got to have a certification of calibration. Again, that's what you guys are paying for it get it out of the ballpark, not just in it. So let's go back to this one again. And let's modulate this at 100%. I know the camera is way out of focus over there. But there we go. Okay, it's right dead smack nuts on. And even as you can see, 100% is too much. What's that? That's 92. What's... that it's 50 right on the money so we have no issues here I was hoping and praying that something would be cool I could show more it just didn't work don't mean to waste your time watching this video but you're not going to see this on my bench you might see a 2465B. It is a cool scope. 
It is. But it's just not perfect for AM and side bin. That's where I really noticed it was on side bin. It's got this weird latency. I doubt if many people would notice it, but I do. It has an issue. Plus, I gotta sit here and turn the knobs. It's not programmable. Maybe one day they'll come up with something, but just not yet. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. If you're out there on those highways and byways, safety first. For you new guys, listen up. It takes twice the driver to be a courteous driver. Stay tuned in, you know who it is.